Well, good morning, family, and it is a snowy, cold, cold, cold day. How beautiful it is, but yet it is cold. You know, I'm always coming up with unique, unique things, and uh, so today, uh, a lot of us are inside. We are not outside today, and I thought it would be quite interesting if we could get you to do some Bible studying. And I want to see how smart, how sharp y'all are. So I'm going to ask you 20 questions. And I want you to get your Bibles. And I want you to do research. Find the answers. And when you find the answer, I want you to uh, text me the answer. Or send it to the email. You can send it to my email. Or you can send it to the email of the church. Because this is a snowy day, uh, all of the answers will involve snow. So, number one, where is it found in the Bible where it says, And his hair of his head is like lamb wool, white as snow, and his eyes are like blazing fire. Uh, where is it found and who? are they talking about uh, number two in the Bible it says as I looked thrones are set in place and the ancient of days took his seat his clothes were as white as snow and the hair on his head was like wool and his throne was a flaming fire where is that found in the Bible Hmm. Number three, uh, where is it found in the Bible where it says, Does the snow of Lebanon ever vanish from the rocky slopes? Do it cold waters from distant sources ever stop flowing? The slopes are rocky. The rocky slopes of Lebanon are covered with snow. Where do you find that in the Bible? Here's something else I want you to find out. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. Where do you find that at in the Bible? All right, here's something else. When they were on the mountain of transfiguration, he says his appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. Where would you find that at in the Bible? Okay, let's move a little bit forward. Um, what book in the Bible mentions snow more than any other book in the Bible? What other book in the Bible? What book in the Bible? talks about snow more than any other book in the Bible. Find this verse. When darkness is when darkness by throwing ice and swollen with melting snow. Where do you find that at? Where it says when darkness by throwing ice and swollen with melted snow. Here's something to think about. Who is the Bible talking about when it says, when the cloud lifted above the tent, Miriam's skin was leprous. It became as white as snow. And who was it that turned toward her and saw that she had a defining skin disease? Who was it that saw her? and saw that she had a defining skin disease. Got two more for you. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, and all of them are clothed with scarlet. Now, women, you need to know this. It says, when, the sn when it snows, she has no fear for her household. What woman... 
are they talking about? Women, you need to know this. When the snow come, it says this woman have no fear because our, her household is clothed with scarlet. And then also, look at this here. Here's another one. Lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds. God uses them to do his what? God uses the lightning, the hail, the snow, the clouds, the stormy wind to do his what? Find that in the Bible. And then this is the last one. Give me the name of the man that went down in a pit, fought a lion on a snowy day. It says there was a man, he went down in a pit, he fought a lion on a snowy day. What was the man's name? All right. You all are very, very sharp and you like to study. I want you to call me and give me the answers. Or you can email me, give me the answers. Or you can send it to the email at uh, one of the churches. You can send it to our email at New Vision. Uh, Baptist Church, or you can send it to um, the email at Sunrise Baptist Church, or you can email it to me, hello Ricky Moore at gmail.com. Hello Ricky Moore at gmail.com. You all stay in, enjoy your family, and get your Bibles out. And I hope that you all will come together as a family, and this is a good time for you to do some studying. Heavenly Father, protect our people today, the first responders, those who put themselves in harm way to protect other people. The firemen, the EMS workers, the policemen, oh God, the linemen, the plumbers, uh, whatever they do, the troopers, whatever people do to help make the world a better place for somebody else. Protect them right now. We're in prayer for all the people who are suffering, who are sick. As of today, four, uh, 485,000 people have uh, died from the corona. 485,000. They are saying that at the end of this week, it'll be over 500,000. That's half a million people would have died from this virus. So please, please stay home, watch your distance, and wash your hands. All right. I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful day. I know y'all wondering how I look. So here I am. I'm all covered up. I must really, really love you all for me to come out here in this kind of weather and ask you all these kind of questions. God bless you, Mwah. love you, and I hope you get your Bible and do some studying for yourself, and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you all, and I will see you Sunday morning.